Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter. I want to welcome you guys to another UFC 4 career mode video. Today, I'm in a new contract. I'm making 120,000 per fight and another 120,000 if I win the fight. And I also have a contract negotiation where I can make $200,000 if I get fight of the night for every single fight of my contract. So with that being said, it's time to take my first fight offer. Now, I don't know who I'm going up against. Oh, Walt Harris, bruh. Okay. Now, y'all might not remember, but Walt Harris was one of those guys that came up thinking it was all fun and games. And he was talking mad reckless over social media. Let me show y'all the, the feed. Look, like that knockout from my pocket and Carter was something to see. No way that would happen to me, though. I'm going to be the goofy out this nigga, bro. I'm a, I'm a deal. I'm telling y'all, I will beat the goofy out of this dude, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a five week camp. You know what I'm saying? I got to prepare. You know, I got to make sure that I'm right. I got to make sure I'm in peak performance. All right. Now, of course, the first week, I always give it to promotion. I, I do all promotion points for the first week. I don't train at all. I just make sure I get that out because I know I got a strenuous camp. And I got to make sure that I'm ready for this fight. So I will see you guys on fight night two hours later all right i am back it is the last week of my training camp and i am at peak performance if i train again i know i'll overtrain and i have a high chance of injuring myself which will bring the hype fight of the, everything down and all that so let's go ahead and just do a little bit of promotion i'm gonna go post the social uh, i'm gonna predict the fight knock out round one why not get the hype as hype as possible um people are saying that this is gonna be epic hold on i thought i already beat junior where's buffer i need this fight now <laughs> is that it all right so the next thing that i want to do is watch tape um i just want to get the points out of here as much as possible so he's a four star overall he is a wrestler okay all right, so now that I know that he's a wrestler and he's a four star, I'm only a three star, so I, I ain't got no issues with that. Um, I don't have any more uh, things left in this week to do, so let's go ahead and get right to the fight. So it is fight week. Like I told you guys, 120,000 per show. And if I win, I get another 120,000. Let's see what social media is talking about. Um, so I'm, They know I'm getting this title shot. Okay, I like it. Um, now I've earned 67 evolution points this uh, training camp. I was working on my um, new snap jab and looping cross, which gave me a lot. I was working also on leg kicks and lead leg kicks, which also gave me more evolution points. So let's go ahead and uh, work on my fighter. Um, I know for sure that um, blocking is it kick power. Let's see. I want to see what I want to work on. Okay. Let's make my takedown defense a little bit better um i want to work on my chin strength is pretty good let's go with should i go bottom game you know what let's do something I, I never thought i would do i'm bringing up my kick power why not why not do it right now also just to show y'all um the moves that i was working on so basically everything that was uh upgraded is here so punches like I told you, I've been working on my snap jab, right? So my snap jab is currently three star. My loop and cross is currently two star. I'm really close to getting that to three star, which is great. Um, what else did I work on? I think that was it in punches. Oh no, hold up. Um, I did earn a spinning back fist uh, last week. All right, as far as kicks go, like I told you, my lead leg kick and my regular leg kick. So I was getting those up, you know what I'm saying, just working. Um, let's see if I have anything else here unlocked. I know that I did unlock a move, but I think that was two weeks ago. Um, and clinch hooks. So I was basically working with a clinch Muay Thai uh, specialist and I got my uh, hooks up. So, you know what I'm saying? That's not too bad. All right. And why is this? Okay. I guess it's just going to pop up the entire time. So uh, let's go ahead and advance to fight week. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right here. <sighs> well, Harris, you're dead meat. All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown.
right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. You ready? You ready? All right. All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the mm -hmm. way. Given what he did his last time out, it was a win by... Mm -hmm. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more... Are you backing up? Win in the UFC. Stop backing up. Ten, the next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage. Changes levels now. Yo, I... He was in a single, got to a high cross. Oh! He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier. Get off me, bro. <laughs> A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Mm. Got that to the target quickly. Mm -hmm. With a jab. Come on, I got you. What you gonna do? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Come on. Nice stick with the right hand. Come on, show me something. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, big head. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Now that's tough. What? Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Sheesh. Off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Sheesh. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound Come on. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his uh. Real sneaky body kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's his Come on. combination as we have seen out of him. Mm -hmm. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Come on. Oh! Huge shots there! Come on, you running. I stuffed... Damn, I, I thought I stuffed that again, bro. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my John, last run? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Ooh! Nice strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, nice uppercut. What? Oh! Well, he has stayed busy. Oh. He has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hand. Come on. Oh! Oh! That was a beautiful hook. 
I was so close to ending him. Very bad. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the Sheesh. It's crazy I don't have any leg power. Yeah, I'm able to do that. Correct. The only thing he didn't do. My leg kicks are insane. Continues down the path. If he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Sheesh. All right, I think I know what I need to do. I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to finish him on the ground. I think it's time. I'm I'm going I'm going in for the shoot. I'm 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 pretty confident with my ground game. So let's get right. All right, second round underway. What? Yes, sir. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, gotta be careful playing around mm -hmm. too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated mm -hmm. left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, reverse. Ooh. See? What a way to switch uh -oh. the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing oh, the knee. Yep. Oh. Let's go. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt. Oh. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Let's go. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. It's my house. It's my house. It's my house. It's my house. I said it's my fucking house. You know what I said? Huh? Oh, my goodness. It's my house. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nice. Stop playing with me. DC, no What's wrong with him? It's my house. It was a fight that had it all. And Every moment is my house. His best performance. Let's go. In the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Cage can't save you, boy. What's wrong with him? Let's go. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Nathan Hyder. And there is the man of the moment, and what moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his... It's all good. I feel like I was okay. I think they need to make sure, like, a person block has to get broken before they get knocked out. I feel like just punching through somebody's guard and knocking them out ain't really cool. That's just me, though. But it's all good. I ain't tripping. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys click that like button. I will see you guys next time in the next episode. I wonder who my next opponent is going to be. It's going to be crazy. I want that belt, though. I can't lie. It's coming up soon. I might even get a title fight in this contract alone. You never know. But I'll see you all next time. Peace.